Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. So today, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a long period of time, but this conversation takes like a lot of delicate tiptoeing, both for guideline purposes and also for y'all to get the gist that I'm about to make. Because after I did that gay for pay video and so many people were like, oh my God, you're just jealous because people want to give straight men their money. Oh my God, it's a fetish, it's a kink. And we do, if we want to be disrespected by homophobic men who are publicly homophobic, even if the street says they're allegedly secretly bisexual and be taking it up the butt, but they keep the straight image for the sole purpose of being a kink. You know, it's, I, I, I fell back. <laughs> Even though on this last video, I specifically said, I hope he scams you and I hope he takes your money and that I no longer care if you willingly throw away your money to homophobic heterosexual men. Allegedly on the heterosexual, just because too many people were coming in the comments saying, girl, Kingston is allegedly, 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 allegedly. I'm just like, girl, I don't pay enough attention to this man's care, but... <laughs> Point is, we're gonna be talking about another controversial kink that I wanna see y'all debate. I wanna see y'all debate and see if y'all hold it to the same standards as gay for pay and giving your money to people that outwardly disrespect you by being homophobic. So, before we get this started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for more exclusive videos, weekly lives, and early access to the YouTube videos. If you are fly, sexy, cute, and everything of the sort, you are there. If you like this kind of community and you don't wanna to spend too much money, go to Discord, but also, check out the Patreon. <laughs> if you want to be a part of the community, I don't pay wall, but if you want the exclusive content rather than just talking with people who are like-minded, then Patreon is for exclusive content. If you just want the community girl, if you want to, you know, kiki and be friends with the girls, Discord is a safe place. I have a Discord. I moderate. I pop in and out. If something goes haywire or somebody's out of pocket, just at me and I usually handle it. But yeah, let's get started. So today we're talking about Damn. Ah <laughs> I had just been so long memorizing this man's name. One moment. Murad Merali. Nico, if I got it wrong, I'm sorry. I don't, I, you know, I never try to mispronounce someone's name. <laughs> I, I think names are very important. You should try to pronounce people's names as accurately as you can. Murad Merali, who was a famous YouTuber was, still is, I don't know if he's still keeping up because at the point when this story aired, he was like, I quit, I'm gonna fade away, I wanna, I wanna not exist anymore. And I'm like, girl, I understand because at this point he was a very big name. I found him when the whole controversy with um, Zupetti, Nico, who is that Nicki Minaj's sex her husband. I found out about him when that story broke and he was covering it because I sometimes tune into pop culture. Most of the time it's just like vapid, you know, shenanigans. I listen to a lot of social commentary, if you cannot tell. <laughs> um, even though sometimes I do talk about vapid shenanigans as well, I sometimes talk about social commentary. But I found out about him through that and he was actually very popular and eventually began to do apparently Love Island sit downs and talk about the episodes and even sat down with some of the ex cast members to discuss their experiences. But then shit hit the fan. I don't know how it came out, but a lot of exposing threads came out. Nico, this you, this you type of threads where his history came out. And everybody has a past, but some things, even if it's in your past, it makes people look at you sideways. Race play. Race, Nico, what does that mean? It means getting a sexual kink from degrading somebody based on their race. And it's usually a consensual practice. You know, most people don't just pop that shit out. But it's an interesting phenomenon because I have screenshots. And some people were trying to do the whole, oh my God, he has a foot fetish too. Girl, in 2022, if you don't have a foot fetish, you need to grow up. Nico, I personally, <laughs> I personally get nothing out of feet, but 
guys that I talk to tend to love my feet. And I'm just sitting here like, do what you do. <laughs> I don't judge unless it's like, you know, scat. That's the only kink that I normally judge. But feet play, girl, it's 2022, grow up. <laughs> People like feet, it's that simple. So I'm not even gonna talk about that aspect of it because I'm like, oh no, he likes feet, girl, whatever. <laughs> he was also into race play degrading Asian and black men. And that's the thing, when we have these conversations, people love to emphasize that there's a difference between black people and people of color. That's why you rarely use the two for black issues. Nico, what do you mean? When I say black and brown people, it's usually pertaining to topics that have intersectionalities, meaning it affects both communities. When it is a black issue, I say black people. When it is intersecting, I say black and brown people. For example, all black issues will not affect all Latinos. All Latino issues will affect all Latinos, whether they be Eurocentric and or Afro-Latino. So there are intersectionalities, and you can see how some of that group intersects with some of the, let's say, for simplicity's sake, um, African-American group, especially if the Afro-Latino is living in the US. So that's why I use those terms together at times, like Whitney said, sometimes, but they are not terms that you use together at all points. This case in point, because Murad, he was apparently Black Lives Matter. He was all for social issues as most social commentary channels do because they like to be trendy because human rights are trendy. <laughs> so he got a lot of backlash because he was, I, I mean, I'm gonna post the messages. He was going in and you know, he was using the R word. He was using the F word, you know, but we're, we're here for the juicy shit. He was calling black people monkeys. <laughs> He was using the ER, like he was going in, talking about degrading this black man that was patroning him. And that's the thing, when we talk about race play, we talked about it on my Patreon as well. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't know how somebody actually feels if they can condone this activity as a sexual kink. Nico, what do you mean? If you calling me a monkey and an ER and these other racial slurs in bed, how do you view me after we leave the bedroom? You know what I mean? And I understand some people are like, oh, well, you have to separate it mentally. But I'm like, can you really separate that? <laughs> can you really separate, you know, racial tension and de and just, what do you call it? Degradation just because it happened while he was inside of you? Like, I don't, I don't know. And it, it makes me wonder, like, how do people navigate the, these situations? seeing as how they're living in the world, they're saying, oh, I'm pro, you know, black rights, I'm pro reformation of the police, I'm pro, you know, changing the systematic errors. But in the bathroom, they are calling you every slur under the sun. And I know a lot of people like this. Nico, I know a lot of people like this. People that say BBC, BBC. Nico, I know you're not comparing BBC to a monkey. Listen. <laughs> I think I, that was my first video. I'm not your BBC. Objectifying someone based on their race can go from mild to wild. BBC, big black quack. Big black quack. That basically dehumanizes a black person to being a large sexual appendage. So you calling him a monkey and a BBC is the same in my head. Nico, I don't use BBC when I'm, you know, messing with a black person. That, as a black person, if you ever said, give me that BBC, I would block you personally. But, <laughs> but it's like, there are just certain things you know not to say. So I definitely want your opinions on this, especially because I'm gonna link it back to Gay for Payment. Nico, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All the bitches that was in the comments defending, oh, well, he can call me a slur, I don't care. How do you feel now that it's pertaining to your racial identity rather than your sexuality? Do you still feel like you should be feeding into race play? Or do you feel like that's too far even though you still give homophobic heterosexual men your money? <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> I, I definitely want, I want you to tell me which corner, which corner, <laughs> which corner? Come here and tell me in detail if you are okay with gay for pay men who are publicly homophobic, 
and still giving them your money because you want to see a heterosexual man do something that makes him wildly uncomfortable while also disrespecting you. Why are you against race play? Because I'm personally against both. As soon as it gets to the point of calling someone derogatory names and invalidating them as a human being, I can't co-sign it. No matter what kink you are, no matter how attractive you are, what blase, blase, blase. So I definitely want your opinions. If you were okay with one, why are you not okay with the other? Because both of them are degrading you for your either sexuality or your race. So definitely drop your opinions down below. I want to know. I want to know because I know you bitches are going to tune in. Nico, why do you say it like that? I've gotten to a point in this YouTube career that I'm just like, people that don't like me are going to tune in every week just to argue with me. So at this point, I'm welcoming it. I'm welcoming it. I want you to drop your opinions. If you're okay with gay for payment, why aren't you okay with race play? If you're okay with both, why do you think it's okay to degrade somebody for their existing? <laughs> like, what? What? if you are into that, I want to know what you get out of it at that point. I'm no longer in an argumentative state with you. If you are into that kind of dynamic, I want to know why. What makes it tick? What what lights like the fire inside of you when you hear these words? If you're not, if you're one of those people like me that's just like, girl, all this shit needs to be thrown away, definitely drop your opinions as well. How do you feel about somebody that's walking the streets daily saying they're pro-black and they're pro-black rights and that they're here for equality, yet they're racially degrading people, not even only black people, but also Asian people, um, in the privacy of their home to make money? Do you think that because it was sex work that he was just putting on an act and that this was all just, just to make money is just the job? To be racist and homophobic is a job. I mean, we have Fox News, so let me not, ah, <laughs> let me not get demonetized. But yeah, definitely drop your opinions down below. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.